There was a lot of scratching and clawing going on last night as two teams of Tigers went at it on the mats. Southern hosted Benton in a battle of two very good one-loss teams. The action featured a lot of state-ranked wrestlers going up against each other for some dynamic matches. And it started right off at 106 pounds with Jarrett Lane going up against Benton's Joe Clock. It was a struggle, but Lane was eventually able to start to amass points for the major decision. Benton got them right back at 113 pounds as two more state-ranked wrestlers went up against each other. But this time the orange and black came out on top with Adam Diltz fighting his way to a major decision over Shane Casey. This match overall was nip and tuck all the way and featured another meeting of highly touted grapplers at 138 with Southern's Todd Lane moving up a weight to take on Michael Stewart. Lane was able to pull off the 3-1 victory. Pins and forfeits followed with the focus then falling on 195 pounds in the match of the night. Steve Tuzluski took on Jeremy Walsh in another meeting of highly regarded wrestlers. Tuzluski had the weight advantage, but that didn't seem to matter to Walsh, who took the Southern wrestler to the mat throughout the first period, even getting him close to a fall at one point. The key here may have been the decision by Southern's coaches for Tuzluski to take the top for the second period where he used his weight advantage to ride the Benton wrestler and manhandle him into a pinning position and eventually get the fall. We'll let our announcers take it from here. Oh boy, oh boy, may not happen. oh boy, Walsh is in trouble, Tuzlowski. Getting a good look. With the body physical. scissors and half Nelson. Tuzlowski fighting it. Oh, there's the fall. That is huge. That brought a huge celebration from the home wrestler and the fans at Southern. Andrew Bell followed with another pin at 220 pounds, putting the score out of reach for Benton. The final was 41 to 31. For SEC V8 Sports, I'm Chris O'Rourke reporting.